Hi everyone, Cece here. If you are here, it's because you are interested in uh, seeing how I plan to pay for school without any student loans. Um, I know I have uh, mentioned that I was going to make a video um, explaining how, but finally found the time to do so. Okay, so this is just going to be a video explaining um, how much my tuition is, how um, I plan um, paying for that. So let me just zoom you in. So uh, the tuition that I um, basically owe my school is 10000 with $50, uh, dollars, so 10050 and the college that I do go to, I won't be disclosing. I don't know why, I just don't feel comfortable saying what school I go to. Um, and the type of credential that I am getting is called the Early Childhood Special Education. So if you don't know what a credential is, I'll explain briefly. So <clears throat> a credential is basically like a license, if you can, um, if I can say that. So it's a license. So um, after your four year degree, or however long it takes you, so after your bachelor's, um, you have to get into a uh, credential program, which at my school is two years. Um, so that's why I say like teachers have to go to school for about six years. Um, I know they have other uh, programs where it's only one, but the one that I decided to go to is two years. So we'll have to be going to school for six years. And with this credential, I um, can teach special education, early childhood, which means uh, preschool. And <clears throat> the good thing about this school, or one of the big reasons why I decided to go to this school, is because um, this is one of the few schools that doesn't um, give out loans, meaning um, you have to figure out how you're going to pay. Um, and the majority of people um, don't end up borrowing money. Um, so this school does offer three types of payment plans. And I will explain the three of them. Um, so the first payment uh, option is <clears throat> to pay monthly 480 And I think that is way too much. So I didn't. Um, end up choosing that one because I want to keep some of my paycheck, right? Um, the second option is called uh, the monthly with deposits, meaning that <clears throat> if you do decide to do this one, you would have to pay 405 per month, but you would have to give two deposits. So the first deposit would be November 30th of 2021. And you would have to give $800. The second deposit would be August 31st of 2020. Another $800. <clears throat> I don't like this one though. Because I would have to give 405 every month. No thanks. That's way too much. So I decided to go for the semester option. <clears throat> and that one is... Um, basically giving uh, four big payments on specific dates. So the first day is November 30th of 21. And that payment is 2010. The second payment is uh, January 31st of 2022. And that is the biggest payment, 3,685. The third payment is August 31st of 2022, and that is 2,345. The last and final payment is on January 31st of 2023, and that payment is 2,010. Um, so this is the payment that I chose only because um, I felt like it was the most appropriate um, for me. And if you've been watching my videos, you do know that I already have uh, 2000 with $10 and I have 
950 of this one. <clears throat> and just in case you missed that video, I haven't yet deposit that amount. Um, but I will count that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two thousand. And I just need ten dollars. So that first um, big payment is already set. I just have to deposit this. Um, but that is due on November 11th. So I still have some time. Um, and for the second payment, I should already have 950. But let's see if that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, so that's 900, 20, 40, 45, 50. So I already have a head start on that one, uh, and that is pretty nice. Um, also, I wanted to put out there that I did have that amount to pay in full, but I am trying to buy a car uh, very soon, and I felt like if I can do payments without any interest then why not do it uh but the main reason that i decided to go to this school was because um i don't know if this is um something that's available at every state um but i know for sure that it's not available at every school so uh this school allows me to teach as a teacher and make teacher pay while i'm getting my credential i hope that makes sense so that is how I am able to pay for my school. Um, if you are interested in becoming a teacher and, you know, this is an option that you would like to do in order for you to actually be able to actually be able to afford your credential, um, you should look at some colleges um, that do offer this. Um, I know that my local university does not offer this, so I do have to drive 45 minutes there in 45 minutes um, back. It's only twice a day, um, but I do have long hours. Uh, I go to school from like five to eight, but usually our professors let us out early, like at um, seven or 7.30. So that's really nice. But I know some of you will be like, oh no, that's too much for me. But what I've um, realized is if you actually want something you have to make the sacrifice so to me it's not a big deal why because I am able to make teacher pay as I'm getting my credential and that's the most money I've ever made ever um so again me going to this school and driving twice a week there is a sacrifice that I am willing to take um but that is all I have for this video Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.